Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh sweet. Dad, that's that a, was a good that was one. A good, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if I got this straight. You could manipulate molecules, like a baseball is a yeah. big water molecule. Or the Sharpie. But would it be possible just to manipulate one molecule at a time? Here's a piece of paper. Take on your take your piece of paper here and put a, put a red mark anywhere on there. It's anywhere. Just put a little mark. Okay. How far do you have to go to get a million molecules? A million atoms. How big is that? This far? Yeah. You're just kind of guessing. Yeah, in there. I don't know. Well, put it, mark it on the paper. You can, this paper will demonstrate it. So I will tell you, it's, it's, this paper will demonstrate a million atoms. Yeah, so you don't think that? So he thinks that a million atoms would fit between those two red dots. That's about right. As I was told by my first chemistry instructor at the university, this piece of paper is about a million atoms thick. Right there on the edge. What? What? A million atoms thick, give or take. They're not very big, are they? So how in the world could you stick atoms together and pull them apart, you know, chemistry, do them? How do you do things so small like that? I mean, we're gonna do that. First thing, what do you think that is? A uh, little over 500 milliliters of water. You think that's water? Yeah. You know how to test if it's water? Because this might be nitric acid. Sometimes you, you take your finger and you touch it right on your leg. Does it burn? Okay, scared him. <laughs> it's water. Did I get you for a second? A little bit. Yeah, that's yeah. good. What else do I have? Nine volt batteries. Nine volt batteries. A lighter. A lighter. Some oh. salt. Some salt. Opera, gra glasses. Opera glasses. I've got these little plastic uh, beads here. Using this stuff, we are going to take the water molecules inside this beaker and pull them apart. And if we do it right, we'll be able to put them back together. What's the formula for water, do you know? H2O, H2. hydrogen, or two hydrogen, one oxygen. That's right, so here's an oxygen atom. And here you put, the, and there's the two hydrogen. You wanna put the hydrogen atoms on there for me, please? Magnetic, sweet. So there it is, ta-da, H2O. And we can pluck those hydrogens off like that. And we can do that by running an electric current through that water. And when that electric current goes by these molecules, because right now they're sharing electrons. And if I can get a bunch of electrons come flying by, woo these guys will pop off of here. And if everything works well, the electric current will cause those hydrogen atoms to fly off the molecule and they normally will stick together because hydrogen is always found in, in nature and is H2, it's called diatomic. So hydrogen usually does not hang around by itself. And oxygen, the same thing. If we start pulling the oxygens apart. They'll stick together? And they're diatomic as well. So have you ever heard of O2, like oxygen O2? Yeah. Yeah, and that's what it looks like. So why don't you take that nine volt battery? What did I do to that nine volt battery? I did something special. Uh, you put a washer on there? I put, yeah, a weight, right? Now before you drop it in, I want you to look at the two uh, poles there. Do you see a plus or minus? The plus? little one's the plus, little one's the big plus. one's the minus. Okay, electrons have a negative charge. So one of them's called the cathode, one of them's called the anode. I wonder which one is which. Anybody know? So I'll have you do it in case it blows up. Uh, I want you to take this and just and try to get it to set in the center of the glass. Okay. Might be nitric acid. Okay, so Did I scare you? <laughs> yeah. Good, I love it. I made my day. Okay, now let's check this out. Now you gotta get down and get your opera out and get this out. Look, oh, I don't know if you can see it or not. I can see the little bubbles. You see little bubbles? Oh, look, little stream of bubbles. It's coming off the negative one. What would be attracted to a negative side? Uh, negative charge, or no, plus Plus charges. charges would be. And if I take hydrogen, or water, when the hydrogens come off of a water molecule, they have a positive charge, they have a positive charge. So where do you think the, the hydrogens in this water would go to? Other hydrogens? Well, other hydrogens, but they also go towards the negative side. And they do, they're attracted to the negative side and they meet there and they pop together and make a hydrogen diatomic molecule. And they make, get enough of them, they go there and they make a bubble and up they go. You see them going up there? Mm-hmm. And you look over here on the other side where the oxygens would gather, there is a stream, but it's not as big. It's because there's, for every one of these, how many hydrogens? There's two of them. Yeah, so it's not, it only gets half as much. 
we can speed it up a little bit, kind of cheat a little bit. If you'll take that salt and just pour just a tad little bit in your hand, just kind of grind it in there. Kind of add a little, ooh, let's see what that, oh, you see it's, what's happened to the reaction rate? It's going up. It's going, because we're, we're making the water conduct electricity. So we are actually separating hydrogen from oxygen in the water. I got, are we done or you want to do some more? Let's do some more. What else could we do? Um, we could add some of the other materials on the table. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go over there and see if you can get us a little test tube? Yeah, now we're talking. What you're going to have to do, I won't do it because I don't want to lose any more fingers, all the way up to the top so there's nothing in there but water. Now put your finger over that right now. Now you're going to turn it upside down in there. Keep it on there. Keep it on there till you get it below the water. There it is. Hydrogen bubbles. So I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go get a pizza or a sandwich or something. I'll be back in a while. One hour later. What do you see? I see a whole bunch of bubbles coming up and yeah. it looks like it's we filled the tube we filled the tube it took quite a while several yes, minutes right so i've got my finger on it and you have your safety goggles on right Do we have all the insurance papers filled out since hydrogen is less dense than air i want to lift this thing up and i'll put my finger under it just to capture whatever it is that's in there so now i've got that gas captured and i want to turn it upside down i'm not going to let that gas out before we do this, it's been nice knowing you, young man. Thank you for you helping too. me today in case you know anything goes wrong here. So could we dim the lights? Because I want to see if there is any hydrogen in here. It's flammable. So you, you like right that. Yeah, you like that and just hold very still. And I'll bring this over. You ready? Yep. In three, two, one. Oh. Did you hear it though? It did I pop. heard it. I, yeah, heard, I heard it. it, pop. I it heard popped it. and went poop. That was a little disappointing. It, it was. I just but heard you it. heard it pop, right? Yep, I heard, I heard the pop and I saw it. Yeah, go, go get to get rid of that measly little thing. We need a big test tube. Okay, let's go for it. Now I'm going to take this out, put my fingers over the end of it. There it is. And uh, let's turn off the lights again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh sweet. Dad, that, that was a good that was one. That's a good one. <laughs> You know what's so cool? Hmm. Because we had hydrogen. What do you think was going on? All the hydrogen rushed out and it went through, the, since it's a flammable gas. Just... It's flammable. So what does flammable mean? What did it do when it flammed? It caught fire. When something catches fire, what is it doing? Uh, it's... it's combining with oh, the, um, oxygen the in the air. Mm -hmm. So guess what we got? We got, we, went, we, oh, it, we put it back together. We put it back together. Yeah. Look at this. We, yeah, we, we got more H2O. We took it apart. And we put it back together. Yeah, they put it back together. Don't mess with us. We'll tear it up. So, young wit, wizard in training, check this out. What does it say? Electrolysis breaking water in two. Does that look familiar to you? Yeah, it does. We got one right there. We got one right there. Check this out. Right here in the book. Breaking water in two. So if you'd like to do uh, more activities like this, you can get this set of books. Just look down in the video description. The, the book series is called Wizard's Book of Science Secrets, written by who? Wizard. Oh, I know. I learned how to write. It's very good. So you get this book series. But if you uh, would like it online, we're available in lots of places in social media, and they are YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon. Wow, really? We're all over the place. Yep, all over. And actually, we do have hundreds and hundreds of acti thousands of activities. Thousands. I think we have the world's largest collection. It's 225 years old. It isn't good. You got all fingers counted for? Yep. No burns or abrasions or anything? No. What happened to your face? My oh, it's face. that. Oh, never mind. I didn't bring, bring that up. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Bring that up.